All right, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Let me just make sure everything looks okay. And we will find some nice music to listen to in the background. Okay, hopefully that sounds okay. So, basically what I'm doing here in this stream today is playing around with something called Dachiosaurus. I actually came across this the other day when uh, we... Just to give you a little background before I go into it, I work with the Rocky Linux web team um, on their website and we were um, discussing some options that we wanted to use for the wiki slash docs. And so um, one option that I stumbled upon was Docusaurus and uh, while we didn't decide to use it for the wiki. I'm going to play around with it and see what's possible with it um, because I may end up using it for my business. So let's let's see what what we can pull off here. Um, keep in mind, this is my first experience ever with this, so most of this is probably going to be me trying to figure out how to set up everything and. Uh, get going there. Um, excuse me while I close out some windows. Let's see. Sorry, I wanted to just check Mattermost to make sure I didn't miss anything important. Oh, don't want to show those. I'm going to close any unnecessary windows. So, um, I'm going to go for version 2 because it's recommended. Um, as you can see here. Uh, even though it's still an alpha, they say it's quite stable. So I'm going to just uh, try that and see uh, what we can do with it. So it says here, DocuSource 1 used to be a pure documentation site generator. In DocuSource 2, we re rebuilt it from the ground up, allowing for more customizability, but preserved the best parts of DocuSource 1. Easy to get started, version docs and i18n coming soon. Beyond that, DocuSource 2 is a performance static site generator and can be used to create common content driven websites such as documentation, blogs, product landing and marketing pages, etc. extremely quickly. While our main focus will still be helping you get your documentations right and well, it is possible to build any kind of website using Docusaurus 2 as it is just a React application. Docusaurus can now be used to build any website, not just documentation websites. Okay, so we got a little bit of background about Docusaurus here. Um, now we're gonna see, go through some of its features. This is really what interested me in the product um, or the project. So here it says, Docusaurus is built with high attention to your experience, building your site and maintaining it with your collaborators 
and contributors. It is built with Love and React. Extend and customize with React. Gain full control of your site's browsing experience by swizzling in your own components. Swizzling. Pluggable. Bootstrap your site with a basic template, then pick and plug functionalities built by us and our community. Open source your plugins to share with your fellow documentarians because sharing is caring. Developer experience. Multiple bootstrapping templates to get your site up and running. Start writing your docs right now. Universal configuration entry point to make it more maintainable by contributors. Hot reloading with lightning fast incremental build on changes. Route based code and data splitting. Publish to GitHub pages, Netlify and other deployment services with ease our shared goal to help your users find what they need fast and understand your products better. With the experience of DocuSource One, we share with you our best practices to help you build your doc site right and well. It says it's SEO friendly, HTML files are statically generated for every possible path, page specific SEO to help your users land on your official docs directly relating their problems at hand. It's powered by MDX. Write interactive components via JSX and React embedded in Markdown. Share your code in live editors to get your users love your products on the spot. Get your users to love. Okay, I read that completely wrong. Search. Uh, your site is searchable. Document versioning helps you keep documentation in sync with project releases. And I18N, which is used for localization and translation, coming soon. DocuSource 2 is born to compassionately to be compassionately accept, accessible to all your users and lightning fast. Lightning fast DocuSource 2 follows the PRPL pattern that makes sure your content loads blazing fast. Accessible. Attention to accessibility, making your site equally accessible to all users. Comparison with other tools. Across all static site generators, Docusaurus has a unique focus on doc sites and has out of the box st structure you need. We've also studied other main static site generators and would like to share our insights on the comparison, hopefully, to help you navigate through the prismatic choices out there. Gatsby. Gatsby is packed with a lot of features, has a rich ecosystem of plugins, and is capable of doing everything that DocuSaurus does. Naturally, that comes at a cost of a higher learning curve. Gatsby does many things well and is suitable for many building many types of websites. On the other hand, DocuSaurus tries to do one thing super well, be the best tool for writing and publishing content. GraphQL is also pretty core to Gatsby, although you don't necessarily need GraphQL to build a Gatsby website. In most cases when building static websites, you won't need the flexibility that GraphQL provides. Many aspects of DocuSaurus 2 were inspired by the best things about Gatsby, and it's a great alternative. Gitbook. Gitbook has very clean design and has been used by many open source projects. With its focus shifting towards a commercial product rather than an open source tool, many of its requirements no longer fit the needs as an open source project's documentation site. As a result, Many have turned to other products. You may read about Redux's switch to DocuSaurus here. Currently, Gitbook is only free for open source and nonprofit teams. DocuSaurus is free to everyone. Jekyll. Jekyll is one of the most mature static site generators around and has been a great tool to use. In fact, before DocuSaurus, most of Facebook's open source websites are and were built on Jekyll. It is extremely simple to get started. We want to bring a similar developer experience as building a sa static site with Jekyll. 
in comparison with statically generated HTML and interactively added using script tags, DocuSaurus sites are React apps. Using modern JavaScript ecosystem tooling, we hope to set new standards on doc sites performance, asset build pipeline, and optimizations, and ease to set up. Then it talks about ViewPress. ViewPress has many similarities with DocuSaurus. Both focus heavily on content-centric website and provides tailored documentation features out of the box. However, ViewPress is powered by Vue, while DocuSaurus is powered by React. If you want a Vue-based solution, ViewPress would be a decent choice. And then they have some links to stay informed, GitHub, Twitter, and the blog. And then just a place about something missing. Let me turn off my uh, alarm here. I'm up earlier than I would normally be. Um, so that's why I have an alarm set. Not sure what's going on here. That was weird. This section is a work in progress. Contributing. We want to get straight into the installation. So it says DocuSource is essentially a set of NPM packages that can be installed over NPM. Requirements, Node.js version 10, 15, 1 or above, which can be checked by running Node V, which I will go ahead and do and see what version I have. I know I have a pretty uh, recent version. Yes, um, so I don't need to worry about that requirement. Yarn version 1.5 or above. Do I have yarn installed? I do. Uh, version 1.2, uh, 1.22. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we're, we meet that requirement. I almost said we didn't, but it's 22. Scaffold project website. The easiest way to build or er, to install DocuSource is to use the command line tool that helps you scaffold the skeleton DocuSource website. You can run this command anywhere in a new empty repository. So classic. Um, go here. I'll go into my development. I'm just going to create a new folder for Docusaurus um, to keep it kind of separate. And uh, we will open a terminal window there. And uh, see about running this. So we're going to run npx at Docusaurus. Again, keep in mind this is my first time playing around with this, so it's uh, it's new to me. Um, and what I'm going to be using it for, if I do end up deciding to use it, is my website for my business, which is hostspin.com. We also have a YouTube channel. I was going to stream on the YouTube channel, however, uh, the YouTube channel wasn't verified and it takes 24 hours for them to activate um, live streaming for whatever reason. So I just went ahead and started streaming on my personal channel. Hopefully everyone doesn't mind. I may re-upload the, the replay uh, to the Hostbin channel, but for now uh, we're just going to stream here and go with the flow. So uh, let's let's go ahead and use the classic template. See what happens. So I'm assuming it's creating. Yes. <coughs> So 
So here's the structures. We have our folder, our website folder. Then we have blog, docs, source, static, docusource, config. So this is pr pretty similar to a lot of other static site generators. You have your content in separate folders, and then you have your layouts in another folder. In this case, it's in the source folder. Happy hacking. So it says blog contains the blog markdown files. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can delete the directory if you do not want or need a blog. More details can be found in the blog guide. Docs contain the markdown files for the docs. Customize the order of the docs sidebar in sidebar.js. More details, excuse me, can be found in the docs guide. Source. Non-documentation files like pages or custom React components. You don't need have to strictly put your non-documentation files in here, but putting them under a centralized directory makes it easier to specify in case you need to do some sort of linting or processing. That's good to know. Yep, okay. Static. Okay, pretty straightforward in terms of a, a static site generator. So running to the development server, that's what I want to do right off the bat because I want to see what the default looks like. Um, so we'll go into here and we'll say yarn start. Okay. You know, I really appreciate that the d default theme comes with uh, a dark theme. That's pretty cool. So you have this. This is really, really nice. Um, my only thing is I'm going to be using Tailwind CSS. I don't know what they're using. Um, but let's go into WebStorm. I use WebStorm uh, for React stuff and just general web development stuff. What just happened? I think it just crashed on me for whatever reason. Okay, let's close this project and we will now open our Postman project. And I wanna see what they are using I doubt it's uh, Tailwind CSS, but I'm going to see if there may be a starter template to use um, simply because that'll be the easiest way to get started with it. Uh, okay, this is different. I mean, this is React, but... Last name, button, button, online. Yeah, it's definitely not um, Tailwind CSS. So I tell you what, instead of using um, the default template to get started, I'm gonna see if there's a Tailwind CSS DocuSource starter. Do they call it theme or template? They call it template here. I 
I mean, I'm going to be building a custom theme, I guess you could say. My only problem is I really hate manually um, adding Tailwind CSS to things like this because sometimes it just goes insane. Um, let's see. I'm going to search their GitHub. Sorry, what I'm doing right now is just reading uh, this conversation about moving to Tailwind. Um, So it seems like Tailwind CSS is a problem with Docusaurus, um, which may be a problem for me. Um, the reason that I really need to use Tailwind CSS is because I use Tailwind UI on the website and we'll be redesigning this. Um, oh wait, I already have it pulled up. We'll be redesigning this. Uh, right now, I, the whole site is just dark mode. There's no light mode uh, because I built this before version two of Tailwind CSS came out. And then, um, actually, what's this? Okay. List of official themes, classic. Huh. So classic is what we have right now. I would, I guess we'll, we'll just have to try and build it out ourselves. Um, which is fine. It's just with the, oh, they have a playground. Interesting. Okay. Um, Tell you what, I will be back. In five minutes, I really need to go get something to eat. Um, how do you zoom in on this thing? I always forget. I guess you have to go to View tools. Are you 
telling me there's no way? Obviously, we're going to use hack, but uh, we're going to need to decrease that font size. So I will be back here in about five minutes. Um, I just need to go check on something. Uh, so hang tight. Okay, that was way less than five minutes. I'm bad at giving an estimate, but I guess it's better to be over than uh, telling you I'll be back in one minute and then it ended up being 20. So um, let me turn down the music a little bit. I think it's a little too loud. So, so far, this looks like a decent project um, that I may end up using. Uh, I'm going to see how easy it is to set up Tailwind CSS in it. Um, should we go to their documentation, uh, installation? They've got integration guides for these. So I guess the easiest way would be to do this. Um, Okay, so let's say yarn install, or yarn, is it yarn install or yarn add? I can't remember. I haven't used yarn, but uh, that's what DocuSource uses, so I want to be consistent with it. I guess that was right. Okay. And I do prefer using yarn when possible because it's always faster. Um, so, what happened to WebStorm? Did I close it? Or did it crash again? This is really weird. I swear I didn't close it. Maybe I did. Who knows? Uh, anywho, I think if we can install it with a post CSS plugin, then uh, I just need to figure out how to properly set up post CSS with Docusaurus. Um, so. Oh, they have a stack over below. Uh, 
Um, maybe someone on here has a... Uh, nope. Guess not. And I looked through here earlier. Well, that didn't help. That guy kind of seems like a dick. So it says it uses post CSS out of the box, but I'm guessing it uses it internally. Um, This is going to be much harder than I anticipated because DocuSource seems like it has a lot of support, yet I do not see anything about Tailwind, which is kind of sad. Oh, they have a chat, a Discord. Um, I'm just going to search for Tailwind. Um, shit. Sorry about that. Did not mean to use that language. I just uh, knocked off my uh, box mod. Let's see. I'm just looking out how others have achieved this. Assuming I'm reading the V2 docs correctly. So it's not necessarily um, Tailwind friendly for now, which is a shame. Um, there's a Reddit community. Maybe there's something on here. Tailwind, what is going on with this? Nothing in here. This is so weird because for me, it seems like it has a lot of support. It definitely does. But I'm not sure how in the world um,
Oops, there's a tailwind. This is frustrating because I really like what it has here. And I mean, technically, I could use Tailwind still, just not natively, which is a big no no for optimization. So, um, I don't know what to do. I guess we'll have to look for another option. Since they don't seem motivated to make it at least a little easier to add Tailwind. What I was referring to earlier about I can still use it, just not natively. They have a CDN for Tal1 CSS, but you can't customize anything. So that means literally all, all you have in the CSS file are the defaults. So let me see, CDN, here we go. You can't use customize its default theme. You can't use any directives like apply variants, etc. You can't enable additional variants like group focus. Can't use plugins. Yada, yada, yada. So, um, using post CSS docusaurus. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to forget Docusaurus for now, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll end this stream since we're not going to be using Docusaurus. I'll start a new stream with uh, a new title because we'll s continue searching to see what what solution may be the best for us. So let's go ahead and. Uh, uh, I will um, end the stream, start a new stream immediately, and uh, yeah, see you in a moment. <laughs>